What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of not launching or crash on stored up issue you're currently having with NBA 2K23. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step by step tutorial in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that, that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys you would support my work in youtube a little bit and i'm gonna really really be thankful for that and i'm gonna thank you for that so anyways i would just say let's get right started so the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is going to be to navigate to the bottom of your screen clicking onto the uh, on the taskbar right clicking it and opening up your task manager what I want you to do next is going to be to navigate to the top left corner, clicking onto processes and afterwards click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one and type in N in order to find NBA 2K23. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you're finished, you should be able to close the task manager again. And the next step is going to be to take your Steam, your origin, wherever you downloaded it, shortcut or your NBK, uh, NB a 2k23 shortcut on your desktop and if you don't have it on your desktop simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen use your windows search function in order to find it and once you found it simply drag it back on your desktop so let's quickly come back take your shortcut right click hit run as an administrator once you click that your game will pop up or your launch will pop up and i want you to launch the game if it crashes again the next step will probably help you so you're gonna right click hit properties i'm gonna click on compatibility and uh, you're going to go to compatibility mode and enable run this program in compatibility mode for you. Select Windows 8. Disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and OK. That's it for the video, guys. I hope they could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you in the next one and bye.